Hi, I'm Rabbi Katie Bowman, Temple Israel in Memphis, Tennessee, and I am going to do a demonstration of the ceremony that ends Shabbat, the Jewish Day of Rest. This ceremony is short and sensory and tactile and very spiritual, and it is typically done um, when there are three stars showing in the sky on a Saturday night. That's how we know that it's time to bid Shabbat farewell for a week. This ceremony is in essence four blessings that thank God for creating these symbols that are before us on a Havdalah, on this Havdalah set, that remind us of the beauty of Shabbat and that little taste of peace and hopefulness and also that um, remind us to continue to hope for a time when every day is like Shabbat, when every day is peaceful and joyous and um, there is no more work to do in the world. The four symbols are a cup of wine, a spice box, a braided candle, and the extinguishing of that candle. And I'll begin by sharing an igun, a song without words, that was written by Debbie Friedman, and this is really almost the universal setting for these blessings that in Shabbat, the nigun goes like this. Yai lai la 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 The first blessing is the blessing thanking God for the sweetness of the wine, which is the way we sanctify holy time in Judaism. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri Hagafen Borei Peri Hagafen Yai lai la 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 Yai lai la 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 Yai la 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 the second symbol is that of the spices. The spices remind us of the flavor and the sweetness of Shabbat that's just passed, and they also awaken us to the work that we have to do in the week that has arrived. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei minei v'samim Borei minei v'samim You can take a smell of the spices. Yai la 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 The third symbol, the third blessing is over the glow of the flame, the glow of the fire. This is um, the first light of the week, the first light of the week. And we, when we say this blessing, sometimes you can hold your hand up and bring the light to you and see the reflection on your palm and fingertips and that reminds us of a separation between dark and light in our lives and in the week. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Meorei Ha'esh Borei Meorei Ha'esh Lai lai la 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 ya la 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 ya la 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 and the final blessing is thanking God for making the distinctions that exist in the world the distinctions between light and dark figuratively and literally the distinction between the people of Israel and other peoples the distinction between six days of creation and work and one day of rest, and the distinction between everyday mundane time and holy time in our lives. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hamavdil bein Kodesh Lechol Bein Or Lechoshech Bein Yisrael Elmimu Bein Yom Hashvi Lesheshet Yemei Hamaseh Baruch atah Adonai Hamavdil bein Kodesh Lechol 
following that blessing, take a sip of the wine, the sweetness, and extinguish the flame into the wine. And this is the moment that Shabbat departs. And Havdalah is often preceded by a series of verses that remind us of that hope and that memory of a, of a beautiful, peaceful world. And we finish Havdalah with that reminder as well by the singing of Eliyahu Hanavi, Elijah the prophet, is the herald of that age of redemption. And so we remember him at this time and ask that his presence come speedily, as, as will that age of redemption. Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hatishbi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu Hagiladi, Bim Herave Yamenu, Yavo Elenu, Imashiach Ben David, Imashiach Ben David. So with Havdalah concluded, we remember, we hope, and we rejoice in the week to come. And we say to each other, Shavua Tov, may you have a good and pleasant week.